Hello, my name is Connie Liu. I'm an undergraduate at MIT, and today we're going to be talking about cyclic behavior of animals. So cyclic just means that it's a behavior that happens in a pattern, so it happens very regularly. And um, cyclic behavior is very often innate. So one example of this is that uh, bears hibernate, so hibernation. Hibernation occurs once every year. Um, during the winter seasons, the bears eat a ton, and then they sleep for a whole season, and they just survive off of all of that fat that they built up from eating a lot right before they went into hibernation. So that's one example of a pattern that never um, gets skipped, but um, is innately ingrained in that species or in that organism. Another example would be migration. Birds often migrate at a specific season in their lives, and that's also going to be an innate behavior that happens in a pattern because it happens annually um, at a certain time. So those are both examples of cyclic behavior. If we're looking at something that is applicable to humans more, um, one example would be circadian rhythms. And circadian rhythms are something innate within you. Your brain regulates when you need to sleep and when you need to uh, be awake. So you basically have an internal 24-hour clock that's um, uh, telling you when to sleep and when to get up. And that's why jet lag occurs, because you need to reset your internal clock every time you go somewhere new. Because just by being in the dark or being in the daylight is not going to trigger you being sleepy. It's actually your internal clock that manages all of that. So that's a pretty cool um, example of cyclic behavior within humans. The other ones, hibernation migration that we talked about, are more applicable to other species of animals.